Ulysses S. Grant was just mediocre. He had a so-so military career and failed as a farmer. But he got back into the army in 1861, helped win the Civil War, and conquered America's heart. Republicans made him their candidate in 1868, and voters unconditionally surrendered to Grant for two terms. Unfortunately, General Grant was much more competent than President Grant. It was his first elected public office, and it wasn't a good idea to start at the top. He let the Republicans in Congress call the shots on most issues, which undermined his own authority. And while Grant was honest, lots of his friends were dirtbags. A bunch of underlings shamelessly stole money and used government workers to prop up the Republican Party. It wasn't a total mess. Grant secured ratification of the 15th Amendment, which allowed black men to vote. He used the military to protect blacks in the South. He probably stabilized the economy during a depression in 1873 when he stopped Congress from causing inflation of the money supply. He also made some of the first attempts at civil service reform. But overall, one of our strongest generals was one of our weaker presidents. In the end, Grant oversaw the South rejoining the Union, which brought our country back together, but future presidents would have to deal with the issues of racism in the South and Congress running the show.